Glory to your name, oh God.
the Bible declares that by Jesus Christ we were healed, so we already healed, y'all. We just have to receive it. And we just have to receive it. And sometimes we may not need a healing, maybe we need the wisdom of God. You know, the Bible declares that wisdom is the principal thing. So when you pray concerning your body or concerning anything, your mind, body, spirit, and soul, God will give you wisdom concerning your body. He might tell you, don't eat that. Don't drink that. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Not that you need a healing. You need yes. the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. So if not, we all healthy, wealthy, and wise. Well, I just pray anyway. Father, we thank you. We magnify you for the people that are here, the people that are watching by Facebook Live. We thank you right now that by Jesus Christ we are healed. We thank you that even now your healing virtue flows, Lord, even in hospital rooms, Lord on beds of affliction, that they would take up their beds and walk. We thank you right now. Every issue dried up in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for your people, Judah. We thank you right now for Judah that you are returning Judah back to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That they will receive this son, Yahshua, and Jesus. And they will come together, Lord. We thank you. There's no more murder among Judah. That you're bringing Judah out like you declared, Lord. You were bringing Judah out with great suffering. So I thank you, Lord, that as we live in these times, Lord, of great pandemics and wars and rumors of war, that you will continue to provide for us. Just like you did with the children of Israel, we thank you that none shall be touched. But we plead the blood of Jesus right now. The devil angel has to fly over because of the blood. Father, we would be so careful as to keep you all praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all give him a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
might is not by power, but by his spirit. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Oh, shower down. What an awesome God we serve. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all lift your hands right there where you are and just worship him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Shower down on us today. Shower down in this place. Oh, there's none like you. And so we honor you this morning. We worship you this morning. Oh, come on, church. Come on, church. Come on. Hallelujah. To the most high God. The highest praise goes to you. You have been so good to us. You brought us from a mighty long way. Lord, you have kept us. Oh, I remember when I was a little boy, I used to hear people say, you've been so good to me. You've been better to me than I've been to myself. And Lord, we really can say that this morning. Because we know just a little bit about what you've done. Oh, how good you've been. So we worship you this morning. We magnify you this morning. Oh, come on, church. Lift up your hands all over this morning. Give him the glory that's doing this morning. He touched you. He woke you. He clothed you in your right mind this morning. Oh, what an awesome God we serve. We bless him. Him alone do we pray. Jesus mighty name. Yeshua himself. Come on, give him praise right there. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Can I need to say hallelujah? I get into this. This is uh, the first Sunday in March, right? Amen. So we are preparing for Super Sunday, Amen. which is the last Sunday in March, and that's uh, March the 27th, right here at 8 a.m. Uh, for those who are checking us out via social media, please remember that you can sow your seed on Super Sunday. That's the one time a year we come asking for money. Amen. Listen, no one put no, 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 throw you no curveball. This is a fastball. This is a right down the center of the place. We looking for some money that day. Amen. So, so you see, believe God for uh, uh, your harvest. Amen. Listen, if you give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give it to you. Money. I like to say it like this if God can use you to support someone, then God will find someone to support you. Isn't that one? So somebody looking for you now. Praise God. Hallelujah. So don't forget Super Sunday. Don't forget there's four ways you can give. You can give by church app. Uh, you know all that information. If not, it's on the screen for those of you who are watching us via social media. Uh, you can give by Cash App. You can give by PayPal. You can mail it to us, and you can bring it to us. We'd love to see you on Super Sunday, March the 27th at 8 a.m. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to, if you are a little scared about or a little worried, a little concerned, a little not at ease about coming inside the building, you can park in our parking lot, turn your radio to FM 90.7, 90.7, and you can listen to us on the radio. Amen. Amen. Call somebody, uh, text somebody, whatever. They'll come out there and get you off, and I bet you. Uh, I, I can get Fred to do it or somebody. Come get, come get you. Come get. Come get. Amen. Uh, speaking blessings over you. Uh, I'm not Andre Love. I'm Bishop Victor Chris. Praise me. I, 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 I wouldn't put that out there because Andre preached the last week. That, that dude brought the word. So uh, hold on. I might be as good as he is. I don't know. Uh, but but uh, uh, the clock ain't set. Here I go. <laughs> 
Praise the Lord. Father, we thank you and honor you for this time of fellowship and around your word. Thank you for these, your sheep that have come. Thank you that the word goes forth unhindered by any satanic force. And that it will accomplish all that it's been set out to do. In Jesus' mighty name. All right, all right. Listen, uh, you've been hearing us talk, um, uh, first of all, that, that uh, this is the season of light. Amen? Amen. What season is it? Season so in that season or in this season, things are being exposed. Mm -hmm. uh, exposure uh, oftentimes is seen as negative. Mm -hmm. So there are some things that are negative that are being exposed. And, and I mean, right off the bat for 2022, we saw that. Yeah. But also there are some things that are being manifest. Praise God. Somebody say manifest. Manifest. Manifestation usually uh, gives you something positive. You, th you think about gifts and talents and, and those things that uh, really gets you in a place of, of, of advantage. Amen? Amen? So there are some things that God are, are, uh, uh, he's exposing so you can have the advantage. Amen? Amen. Well, uh, when you deal with light, light always gives you the advantage. A amen. You 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 rather be able to have light in a situation than be in the dark. Mm -hmm. Amen. The scripture says that men rejected the light because their deeds were dark. They they love darkness. Amen. The only time you don't want some light on something is you trying to hide. Mm -hmm. a a amen. But watch this. There are some things that will never change until it's exposed. Mm -hmm. a amen. I'm trying to get you somewhere. And and see, we're coming up. We we're, we're coming up to this. Uh, word system. And you've heard uh, on Wednesday night Zooms, you've heard uh, on Sunday morning, uh, especially last week with uh, Minister Andre, where he talks about we need to get off the system. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday night, Bill, uh, Minister Hill said we need to get off the system. Yeah. I, I received a phone call from a member and they said, listen, uh, I, I get um, Social Security and I get retirement. Is that the system? And, I, and listen, here's my answer. Yes. It's part of the system. Now, here's what I want you to understand about getting off the system. Because I got to make sure. Because uh, you're not going to give your re retirement check back. Come on, man. Come on, talk to me. You're not sending your social security back. A amen? Yeah. So when we start talking about getting off the system, we're talking about uh, getting off this thing where that's all I depend on. Yeah, yeah. Remember Andre, uh, I say Andre, y'all know who that is. Mr. Love, remember he said uh, that uh, we need to learn how to work within the system to take out of it that, that we need. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Amen. Yeah. So, so, so watch this. I have a question, simple for you. If the system crashed today, how are you going to make it? Okay, so 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 what are you doing with your retirement check? Yeah. What are you doing with 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 your uh uh um what was the other one? Social Security. Mm -hmm. Come on, watch this. What are you doing with your paycheck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Listen, listen. What would happen if you woke up tomorrow morning and the dollar was no good? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. uh, uh, uh. Listen, the kingdom of our uh, of this world has become the kingdom of our God. Yeah. yeah. So, so the kingdoms of this world has to fall. Yeah. Yeah. And the financial system is a kingdom in this world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Are y'all hearing me? So, what 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 are you gonna do if that was to happen tomorrow morning? You remember I talked to you about emergency preparedness. And I told y'all to go to uh, Patriot, uh, what is it called? MyPatriot.com. Do <laughs> I have somebody in your life looking out for you, man? <laughs> Amen. So, 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 uh, this system is being exposed. Listen, they wrapped around Sam's Club gas station like the getaway government chief. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, it was 329 on Friday, 338 yesterday. Wow. Wow. If you go to the pilot on 43 and 65, uh, yeah, uh, Friday it was 379. 
Pastor Jackie's father put on Facebook, he's in uh, Queens, Jamaica, Queens. Uh, he says it's four ninety nine. The system is not considering you. Now, give me a definition for system. I pulled it out of a bunch of places and made this one. An organized group. All organized what? So the system is a people. And we've already shared with you who those people are. A Amen? Yeah. So the system is a people or organized group using methods of influence for a common purpose. They have a purpose. Hmm. Now you got to remember this, and, and this, this, is, this has got to really hit home. Uh, we are the so-called African American. We are the tribe of Judah. Hmm. Amen? Yeah. Jesus came out of Judah. He's the lion from the tribe of Judah. So that's where Yahshua came from. The purpose for Judah is that Judah introduced the world to, to, uh, to Jesus. Right? So, so, so watch this. If Jesus came out of Judah, he looked like you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Well, okay. Hair like wool. That's you. <laughs> Feet like polished brass. Now, you know a penny? And then you put heat to it? You ever tried that? I tried it. Who it looked like me and Kim. <laughs> Don't look like uh, sunshine. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have a little less melon. <laughs> So, 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 he looks like you. Now, now watch this. It, because you look like him, Satan hates you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, 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 the system, that organized group, they use methods to influence how they control you. Wait, let, me, let me read the thing again. The, uh, an organized group using methods of influence for a common purpose and are backed by related forces. So they made a covenant with, with, with Satan. What is that? Psalms 83, I took y'all to, where they came together and they, they, they made a covenant to, to take Israel and strip him of his name, strip him of his identity. Y'all better hear me. Don't nobody know, uh, uh, everybody else know who they are except you. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, everybody, listen, everybody, we're the only African Americans. Either you're African or you're American. <laughs> we'll tell you. Yeah. You got to understand, you're Hebrew. So the system is designed to have a purpose and they use certain methods. When, 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 when you start out a race, somebody was telling me, I was, I was talking to a friend of mine, yeah, yeah, uh, 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 T. Derrick. He said, listen, uh, when you're playing ball, say baseball, for instance, the people on the field at, at, uh, and you on, you in the parking lot. How's that a, how, how'd you get an even start with them? You, you in the parking lot. <laughs> they ain't even, listen, they already batting, they already scored, and you in the parking lot. Yeah. Hmm. The, they, the, there's, a, there's a plan, there's a purpose and, and so you have to learn how to work in the system. Listen, here, here it is. When, when, when they left, now God's going to do some amazing things for us. But when, when, when Israel left Egypt the first time, he says, now what I want you to do is I want you to go borrow from them. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. these people that you see today, you won't see them forever no more. Yeah. 
I love that saying. You won't see them forever. No more. Well, that sounds permanent, doesn't it? Forever no more. So, so, so uh, it, it's, 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 it behooves us uh, to, to make sure that we take it out of the system what is ours and make something with it. Amen. Amen. You, you remember when I, I, I told y'all uh, about gold and silver? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't just whistling and Dixon. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. When, when, I, when I shared with you about cryptocurrency, uh, cryptocurrency doing this, doing that, doing this, doing that. But your dollar is getting weaker. Oh, y'all, y'all don't hear me. Now, I went to food for more the other day. <laughs> and I had three bags worth $63. Wow. Did y'all get that? Yeah, three bags. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think the pandemic taught us anything. Because uh, it seemed like. Uh, you you know how that how that dog you keep on the chain? And you let him go. He just running. I think that's us. We're running and spending and running and spending. But don't don't forget now the system is organized. It's an organized group. An organized group is uh, using methods to influence the outcome, but it's backed by related forces. They made a covenant with, with the devil who hates you. Are y'all all all right? Go with me to Zechariah chapter 4. Somebody say amen. I got you thinking. Okay, that's good. That's good. I got you thinking. Boy, that, that Andre Love make you make you make you study one bill. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, in 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 the book of Zechariah, you're gonna find that uh, Zechariah had eight visions. Eight visions. What's the number eight? The number eight represents new beginnings. Somebody said new beginnings. New beginnings. Eight is what? The number for what? New beginnings. So when you see that number, you, you think about new beginnings. Uh, in the fourth chapter, we see uh, the fifth vision. Somebody said the fifth vision. Fifth vision. So the number five represents what? Grace. Oh, my goodness. I like, I like that. So you, you, you know that the number five represents grace. Amen. Amen. Grace is God's unmerited favor. You got it? I, uh, listen, I'm not teaching you anything new. I want you to get back to where you've come from, to, to what you left. Grace is God's unmerited favor. There's nothing you or I could do to ever uh, earn grace. Amen? Listen, listen. Uh, there's nothing you or I could ever do to stop God from loving us. Come on, talk to me. Listen, if, if David said it like this. If I made my bed in hell, he'd be there. So you're going to experience the love of God even in hell. Are you hearing me? You're going to say, listen, I didn't have to be here because the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to every man. All glory to God. So, so, so grace shows up uh, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, grace is there. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Now, you have to make a decision. You have to make a choice to turn away from grace or to accept grace. Uh -huh. yeah. God's unmerited favor. Now, grace is not a topic. Uh -huh. It's not a subject. Grace is a person, and his name is Jesus. Somebody say Yahshua. Yahshua. That's grace. Grace showed up. 
Listen, the scripture says the law was given. The law was sent. Amen. I can send you something, but watch, watch this. Grace came. Uh -huh. Glory to God. Grace said, it's not good enough for you for me to send something from a distance. I'm coming to do something for you personally. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Grace is God's ability coming on you to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. How many of you know you can't save yourself? Amen. Amen. You can't crucify yourself. You can make a good start, but you can't finish. Hear me real good. You need a savior for that. That's right. You can nail one hand, but you can't nail the other one, Steve. <laughs> you need a say. See, 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 because what people want you to want you to think is you can do all this stuff by yourself. You can you can create something yourself. The, the, the worst thing that you can do is be on an island by yourself. Because you are insufficient to do anything of yourself but fail. Mm. Oh, glory to God. Watch this. God can do all things but fail. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So in this fifth vision, he's talking all about grace. What does grace do? Grace supplies. Mm -hmm. Grace what? Grace always, somebody say always supplies. always supplies. Grace always supplies. The law always demands. And when the law makes a demand, you can't fulfill it. Are you hearing me? Uh, the law says the speed limit is 70. How many of y'all drive it? <laughs> Is that got you? You can't fulfill it. You try, especially when you see the big hat man. <laughs> Amen. But, but but watch this. If, if he not there, Satan just don't do it. I need to get to places. So in this fourth chapter, you find that it, this is the fifth vision. In the fifth vision, WC, he's talking about the grace of God. Amen? Amen. Um, I want to say this too. Um, he's going to minister to us about Zerubbabel. In the third chapter, he ministers to us about Joshua. Joshua is the high priest. The high priest is the, is the one who ministers to God on behalf of the people. But Zerubbabel is the one that does the work. He's the civil authority. Yeah, this, this blessed me, Bill, because when I when I was looking at Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown, uh, they go into a number of ideas as to Joshua and Zerubbabel, because the scripture is going to be talking about two witnesses. But I'm going to tell you what I believe. J Jameson, Fawcett, and Brown mentions this. That, that I believe, but they wouldn't stay around it. They, they kind of mentioned it and moved on. But he really believes that uh, the two witnesses is uh, uh, represents uh, Zerubbabel and Joshua. Joshua and Zerubbabel. Uh, again, Z Joshua the high priest, Zerubbabel the civil authority or the one who does the work. Zerubbabel lays the foundation of the temple, and he also will finish the temple, put the cap on the temple. Hear me real good. Now, uh, Zerubbabel's name means out of Babylon. Uh, 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 let, let, me, let me be more specific. Sown in Babylon. Sown in Babylon. So, so he began in the place of confusion. And this confusion is caused by mixture. So, so, so remember, uh, the, the, when, when Christ comes again, Matthew 24, 38 says, it's going to be just like the days of Noah when the mixture happened. 
a a amen. They're going to be marrying and giving in marriage. They're going to be eating and drinking. They're going to be doing all these things. Look at us. No matter what comes around, we try to get back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. Or what we consider normal. Yeah. Uh, he says, it's going to be just like that because of the mission. And there's so much confusion. Now, we have confusion from sexuality to the laws to all kinds of things. But watch this. Babylon is the place where God sent his people to be captive. Because Babylon is the place that you go to learn that nothing happens by you forcing it. Hmm. It can only happen by grace. And so, so oftentimes we spend a whole lot of time trying to force things. We try to force people to love us, force people to give us things. Listen, but, but, but watch this. It's sown in Babylon. It's sown in captivity. Listen to me real good. So if Zerubbabel means sown in captivity, who is that? Hmm. <laughs> Sound like Judah. Sound like you and I. Sound like our ancestors. So, so now Joshua is the high priest. But Zerubbabel is the one that's going to do the work. Um, if you read Revelations, uh, and I'm not, not a real you know, student of it, but if you read it, you find out that there's 144,000 Hebrews that are left here to preach the gospel right. to the world. Right. They come out that 12 tribe. Right. When, when they're, what they're doing is the church is being built, Ashley, and these guys are left here to put the cap on it. So all of us ain't going to be raptured. Yeah. Or oh, you hear me? You, you need to make up your mind who you are now and come out of the system and live for the almighty God now. Because somebody's got to put the cap on this thing. Watch this. So what, what they're preaching is look to the high priest. Be more careful. He is the high priest. See, uh, he can be touched. Our high priest can be touched by the feelings of our infirmity. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when you're in Babylon, and this is what you should learn. This is what we need to learn. That that you you should learn uh, things can never be forced. Um. Watch this. We've been trying to get legislation passed, but it doesn't change people's hearts. Nope. <laughs> I believe in legislation. Because if they get caught, some going to go to prison. And I, you heard me say this time and time again. It, it's amazing that we have to celebrate when somebody's found guilty. It's amazing we have to celebrate when people are, are, are punished for doing wrong. Because you can pass legislation, you can force things, but it won't change. It's by grace. Are y'all hearing me? So, so uh, when, when we see uh, Zechariah preaching here out of these verses, you, you, you find that he's now in this fourth chapter talking about by grace alone. Uh, I, I want to put this out here too. Um, uh, purity, or uh, I, I wrote it like this, not even purity alone is enough to accomplish the work of God. Mm -hmm. um, and, and when I thought about that, I said, what are you saying? Uh, most of us go to church, but and we, we declare our being born again, uh, but we don't, we don't get to the place where it's, it's our actions, it's, it's, it's how we live, it's by grace.
uh, we go to church, but we're still trying to force people to do things. What? Well, watch me. Look at me. I'm the example. You better do this. No, no. Your, your responsibility is to live right. It, the Apostle Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. Now, that does not mean that you don't tell people the truth. But but don't don't get caught up in being this person who tells the truth uh, at, uh, uh, at the sake of looking bad or messing with your testimony because you use the truth as a as a weapon. Uh. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. Uh, all this is designed by the system. Remember, an uh, organized group of people who uh, 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 they come together for a purpose, and the purpose is to get you off because who they back by? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. See, see, your God, your, the Most High, he says, if with love and kindness have I drawn you. Yeah. Yeah. Stop, 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 stop. Don't, don't, don't make God look like the one who beat folks. You 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 really get beaten because of your choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo. If 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 I'm getting beaten, I I I went down the wrong path. Yeah. I made a choice. Thank you. Yeah. Now 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 don't forget too. Now we live in a fallen world. Yeah. Some things just happen, yeah. and you don't have any control over it. Yeah. Woo! Because you prayed and you prayed and you cried and you cried and you prayed. And that still happens. Yeah. 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 Are you hearing me? Amen. I'm trying to get to the scripture here, but I need to I need you to make sure I got all this stuff out. So so not even purity alone is enough to accomplish the work of God. The work of God needs resources. Somebody said resources. resources. So so here we are, we're coming at the at into uh, Super Sunday. We're talking about finances, that's resources. Right. But what's this? And the resources cannot be by human might and power. A amen. Uh, uh, how does that deal with your, how does that correlate to your money? Um, you ought not give nothing that you haven't heard Holy Spirit say give. Hello? Come on, talk to me now. See, 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 when you spend enough time with the Holy Spirit, he will tell you what to give. He'll tell you, listen, he doesn't always leave you in your comfort level. Hmm. Amen. A amen. Amen. So, so there are times that you are comfortable in your, too comfortable, let me put it that way. Huh. <laughs> You're too comfortable in your giving. Hmm. Amen. It's easy. Holy Spirit will lead and guide you into all truths and righteousness, Jesus said, and he'll show you things to come. Amen. 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 And watch this. He will not ask you for what you don't have. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Now, you have to make the decision. Mm -hmm. Ooh, am I going to get that? Because <laughs> watch this. There's a, old, there's, a, there's a widow woman and, and she and her child they are about to eat the last cake and die. They made up their mind, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, how many of you have made up your mind? This is it. I ain't doing nothing else. Uh, 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 forget it. If I don't make it, I don't make it. Mm -hmm. Well, when you when that comes up, he shows up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what you got, I need that yeah. to get you out of what you in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. And you thought. No, this is all I got. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wrap. That's it. <laughs> and, he, and what he does is he says, no, I need that. He said, I understand that you're finna make it a cake, but make me one first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 that was that was that was something because uh you gonna make this cake, but then he says, Oh, bring me some water. Was that first? The water was first dedicated. Bring me some water. 
Now I got rid of uh, Sister Geraldine. It was a family. It was a drought. Yeah, yeah. Well, since I'm finna die, I need some water. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been there? Since I ain't gonna make it no way, don't take this. Yeah. <laughs> but then he said, oh yeah, and fix me a cake. <laughs> Hold up, preacher. <laughs> so so the resources cannot be by your might and by your power. Yeah. yeah. The resources have to be based on grace. It cannot be by your cleverness. Right. Cannot be by your ability. Come on, talk to me. See, because we can do things out of our cleverness. Oh, I know how to come up with that. I can do this and I can move that around, shake and bake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put some with some. Put some in. He's love to put some with some. Make some. So, 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 so here he is now. He says, look, he says, you it cannot be by your cleverness, your ability, or your physical strength. Uh Yah's work, the most high's work, will be accomplished by the spirit alone. Watch this. Exodus chapter 15, it was the spirit that spread that uh, part of the Red Sea. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Listen, listen, you see, they had gotten to the place where they were trapped. Mountains on both sides, Red Sea in the front, and here come the Egyptian army. Yeah. They trapped. How are we going to, did you not bring us out here where there are not enough graves in Egypt to, to, to bury us in? They complaining, and Moses, he said, Moses said, Lord, what are we going to do? He said, don't look at me. What you got in your hand? <laughs> Yeah. It's by grace. Listen, it, it, that's got to be by grace because all he had was a wooden stick. Yeah. Wooden stick don't spread water. Mm -hmm. Especially part red seas where you can go by on dry land. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even get mud in your toes yeah. when it's by grace. Listen, listen. In Ezekiel 37, he says, Son of man, can he dry bones live? He said, man, I don't know, but you know. <laughs> oh, glory to God. Holy Spirit already knows what you're trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, I don't know, but you know. Listen, I'm going to take it off of me because I can't supply. you the only one that can supply. You know. He says, I'm glad you asked. Speak to the wind. Call the spirit in. Yeah. Amen. And the spirit come from all four directions. Hit those dry bones and they got sinew on them. They stood up and began to move. I'm telling you, when you cut it loose from the system, Holy Spirit going to say, now it's you and I. I know what you need. I, I got, I got, I got what you need. Well, it, how it goes, Steve? That's that's a rap song. I, I got, I got, I got what you need. He knows what you need. I gotta listen to that song. Get the word right. All right. Listen, listen. Uh, uh, it's it's him working in you, giving you both the will and the desire. That, oh, I'm sorry. That, that giving him both the will and the desire yeah. to do what pleases him. Yeah. Amen. A amen? amen. It's him working in you. Amen. It's by grace yeah. that you are saved. You. Not by works. Yeah. He's any man can boast. So when you when you see the system, you say, okay, I'm in the system. Watch this. I'm in the world. But I'm not of the world. Yeah, yeah. Now I need to take out of it what I need to survive because the system gonna crash. Yeah. Yeah. The system gonna crash. And the system is not designed for you, no way. Yeah. <laughs> Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. We live on a whole other level. Now, I didn't get a chance to do like I wanted to, but I'm gonna talk to you a little bit uh, because when you refuse, when you when when you operate in ignorance, somebody say ignorance. Yes. The root word of ignorance is ignore. Mm -hmm. wow. So ignorance is not that you just didn't know it. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Philippians chapter 5 says, when it comes to the times and season, I don't need to tell you about that. You just ignore it. You already know. You can already see the handwriting on the wall. That's where, that's where I want to come to Ichabod. Ichabod is when it's written on the wall that the glory of the Lord has left you. Are you hearing me? Because you ignore it. Not, not, not because you didn't know. It's because, oh man, we live in America. We done had hard times before. Things always work out. Well, you go back to the 20s and 30s, people were jumping out of the windows. So things don't always work out. And listen, when, 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 when America uh, uh, sneezes, we get the flu. <laughs> yeah. Can I say it like I want? Yeah. When white America sneezes, <laughs> we get the flu. Yeah. Yeah. Are you hearing me? So, 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 so yeah. it, it, this thing about the Spirit of God and, and, and I go to church is not enough. Because the phone call that I received uh, asking me about retirement and, and Social Security said, well, I, I'm, I just know the Lord's going to do such and such and the Lord's gonna, because I'm a giver and I, the Lord's gonna, and I know the Lord's going to do it. I believe it too. I really do. At the same time, you can't keep ignoring him telling you put this back. Take care of that. Save this. Yeah. Yeah. Hello? A lot of people perish because of the lack of knowledge. And uh, from what I understand, that lack of knowledge is not just not knowing, but not being prepared, not paying attention, ignoring. Does that make sense? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, let, let me try to get into a little bit of this scripture so uh, y'all think something's good about me. I'm spiritual. Um, um, let's read a little bit, okay? Zechariah chapter 4. <clears throat> and the angel that talked with me came again. So, so you see this angel has talked to him already four times. Right. So he's come again. And watch what Zechariah says. And, 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 and wake me as a man that is uh, waken out of his sleep. Uh, so, so uh, Mr. Carr, he wasn't asleep, but he was he was meditating on the the, the third uh, fourth vision. Okay. Okay. And while he's meditating on the fourth vision, here comes the angel with the fifth. Okay. But it but it it appeared as though it happened like he was asleep. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you if you ever been really asleep and somebody woke you. It takes you a minute yeah. to get your bearings. Yeah. That's what's happening to us. Wow. It, it, some of us are, wait, wait, what did that say? I read that all my life and I didn't realize that. We're waking up. It's time to wake up. It's time to know who you are. It's time to know whose you are. Listen, we, we, we've always loved the Lord. It was fine with us when we thought we was, you know, adopted. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't know we were the main children. Yeah. That's right. We did. That's right. But now we're waking up. Yeah. And, and, and notice here, as we wake up, as he wakes up uh, from this sleep, verse 2 says, And the angel said unto me, what seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold a candlestick, all of gold, with a bowl on top of it. And uh, and his seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps, which are upon the top thereof. So so watch this. There's a candlestick, Miss Brown, and on this candlestick is a bowl. 
and th then this, this this thing has seven uh, 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 lines running to it and seven wicks to it. So when the oil goes in, it stays running. You never run out of oil. Watch this. You never run out of light. Oh, God. Listen, it may be dark in Egypt, but there's light in Goshen. God, glory to God. Listen, listen. They may not know what to do, but you know what to do. And, and, and I got to get you to this place because... Uh, what we are failing to do is develop or, or rekindle our prayer lives. Hello? We spend a whole lot of time doing everything else, but, uh, but, but we're not praying like we used to. And so, so notice this bowl, this candle, this candlestick and everything else is solid gold. See, because gold represents the presence of God, the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. And this candlestick, you remember in Revelation, the candlesticks represents the churches. Right. Oh, glory to God. So the work that is being done has a bowl on top of it, and the bowl represents Jesus himself. Amen. And the bowl is full of oil, and the oil is running down uh, into the uh, pipes, and the pipes running down into the wicks, so it's always running because our head, oh my God, the head has the all. He's doing everything for us. It's not the system. Amen. Amen. I know I work on your job, but I, 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 like Andre said, I just work with you. Okay. Amen. I work for you. Amen. I work for the Lord. So when I come in here, I do as unto the Lord. That's why you want me because I'm such a good employee because I know who I work for. I just work with you. So, 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 so this is a very interesting thing too because I found out that uh, the, 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 the job of the priest was to always keep the wicks dry and, and prepared and always keep the soot out of there. But watch this. This thing is self-containing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, that, that all the work has been taken out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. By grace oh, you are saved. Amen. Not by works. At least any man could boast. You can't boast about nothing you have achieved. Nothing that you have accomplished. Nothing you have acquired in this life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can't boast. It's all God. Amen. And notice, he said, I, I, I saw all this, and, and then verse 3 says, and two olive trees by it, one on the right and one on the left of the bowl. Verse 4 says, so I answered and spake to the, to the angel that talked with me, saying, uh, what, what, what do these mean? What does this mean? Verse 5 says, then the angel uh, that talked to me answered me and said unto me, knowest thou uh, not what this be? And I said, no, my Lord. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. This is real good. I, I don't say no out of just strength, uh, plain ignorance. I say no out of humility. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get ahead of you. Listen, I need you to tell me because I know you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can take an educated guess. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm doing this out of humility. No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm your child. I'm at your feet. You tell me what it means. You tell me where to go. You tell me what to do. You tell me how to handle that. You tell me, because I, 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 I get it myself. <laughs> I was having a conversation with a couple of our members, and one of them said, well, you know, I can't get in my flesh a little bit. <laughs> or, or, how was it? I get in my own whatever. <laughs> and we all do. Yeah. I, I can get in my feelings. I don't know about you. Yeah, I do know about you. You can too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting my feelings. That's Jackie. She'll tell you. Get my feelings in a heartbeat. 
<laughs> and, and let me let me say this about about all, all those men. We do it all the time. Yeah. We get in our feelings. We just handle it in different. Y'all do a lot of talking. We do a whole lot of holding back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I was going to do that for the hell of but I ain't. Done for <laughs> 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 who the heck she talking about? <laughs> like that movie, that, uh, uh, Two Can Play That Game? Show sure who had a big draw. <laughs> 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 watch this, watch this. He says, uh, you know, verse 6 says, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Now remember, Zerubbabel is the one who had been sown in Babylon, mm -hmm. yeah. who had been sown in a time of captivity in a place of confusion. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. I, 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 I know that's us. I know that's us. Confusion by mixture. They mixed everything up. As soon as we stepped through that door of no return, they made us Catholics. They made us, quote, quote unquote, Christians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. They told us that we need to start worshiping this stone and this wood. Statues. Yeah. Yeah. We always had a relationship with the Almighty God. Amen. Yeah. yeah. That's us. And because we were sown in Babylon, we got confused, we got mixed up. But now he's bringing it back. And he said, listen, those who were sown in Babylon, it's not by might. It's not by your bank account. It's not by your education. It's by my spirit. He, so this thing about being filled with the spirit, Praying in the spirit, acknowledging the spirit, we better get back there. Start having those conversations again. Hey, Holy Spirit, what, 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 what do I need to do today? Lord, I need you to show me how to do that. Listen, because he said he's going to give you wisdom from above. He speaks to you. You know, we kind of get to the place sometimes where we get ashamed of what what's good. You remember when you used to tell everybody, oh, the Lord told me to live. Holy Spirit was talking to me and told me, now you sophisticated. <laughs> now you're intellectual. Come on, you're executive. <laughs> and you can't say that around certain people. Yeah. You better wake up. Understand that the system is not meant for you. Amen. The system that does not have your best interest no. at heart. Notice, let me let me say this uh, about that lamp with the bowl and the oil. Let me tell you why uh, oil. David Gusick got this from Gusick. David Gusick says the reason why oil represents the Holy Spirit is because oil is a lubricant. And it cuts down on friction. Ooh, glory to God. <laughs> Watch this. You can always tell people who are led by the Spirit there's less friction. <laughs> he says, all heals. So when you use all, you put you put it in a medicated salve, and yeah. you when you spread it on, it helps to heal. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Oil. When you burn it, it can be used as both heat and light. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, up, up north, that's what they use. They use oil to, for the winter. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. We use natural gas, but they use oil. Yeah. So it can be used for what? Both heat and light. And light. <laughs> Not only that, 
all can be invigorating. So uh, I, I, I bought this stuff. Y'all hear me? I'm going to tell y'all all of it. But I bought this stuff from uh, one of those stores, Big Body and Bath or something like that. And it's got lavender. It's a lavender oil. So, you know, when I really want to, uh, you know, get some good points, Browning points at the house. <laughs> what what I do, Miss Jamel, I, I, Miss Munches, what I do is I take that bottle of oil uh -huh. and I put what's this, Kim? I put it in hot water uh -huh. on the stove. Uh, uh, let let the hot water heat up the oil. Yeah. Why she in the shower? <laughs> and when she gets out, uh, she she dries off, and then I take the Hot oil, she begins to rub. Oh, I, she she get in, she get invigorated then, boy. <laughs> so watch this oil; it'll, it'll it'll invigorate when you use it to massage. Not only that, it's got that lavender in it, so she sleeps real good. Yeah. Y'all better hear me. You better know how to do what you do, man. <laughs> watch this. In order for, when you get the most expensive perfumes, guess what? It has oil in it. That's right. Yeah. So, so watch this. The Holy Spirit comes and, and invigorates you, but also it's a sweet smelling scent. Oh, glory to God. It, it'll make things sweet around you. Glory to God. The more Holy Spirit has control in your life, the sweeter things are. Y'all better hear me. It just smells good around you. Listen, when you when you walk into a place, uh, uh, watch this. I, I years ago, years ago, I say years ago, yeah. years ago, I was at work and 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 one of my coworkers said, oh, "Victor, what is that you got on?" I said, "I said, what are you talking about? Boy, you smell so. Oh, I love a good smelling big man." I said, "Hey, back up, back up. I got a wife. I got a wife. It, it, it's, it's, it, that oil is used for that. Now watch this. Watch this. Here's the last thing. Oil is is in uh, polish. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So if you want something to shine, yeah. listen. When you have the oil of the Holy Spirit operating in your life, yeah. people say, "Now, when we went to the class reunion, did you see how everybody else looked? But they don't look like you. You girl, you ain't aged up." Dang, what's going on? It's the oil of the Holy Spirit. Yes, amen. Uh, See, you, you need Holy Spirit in your life. You need him not, not to be somebody you call when you're just in trouble. But you need him to lead and guide you. Yeah. To be the one out front. Make you smell good. Make you look good. Make you feel good. Make you shine. Yeah. Come on, make you make you warm to people. Yeah. Come on, talk to yeah. me. Make you the light of the world. Yeah. Come on, because that's who you really are. That's who you've been called to be, the light of the world. Thank you, Lord. That's who you've been called to yeah. be. Thank you. Amen. 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 In order to come off the system, we've got to change the way we think. Amen. That's number one. And when I, when I say change the way you think, let's change the way we think towards God. And then let's change the way we think toward the system. So here's, here's the thing. Our dependence now is on God and less dependence on the system. Amen. Does that make sense to you? Amen. Look at verse 7. Who art thou, O great mountain? So, so if a mountain comes up against the root bell, it'll become a plain. Come on, come on. Listen, listen, listen. Who's Zerubbabel? Those that have been sown in Babylon. So if a mountain comes up against you, it'll become a plant. It'll, it'll become a molehill. Wow. Is that a better word? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and he shall bring forth the headstone. So you're going to finish this thing. He's going to use you to finish it. Therefore, with shoutings, crying, grace, grace to you. It's by grace. Amen. Verse 8 says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, 
the hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house. His hands shall also finish it. Thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. For who has despised the day of small things? Uh, can, I, can I do this? Let, let me do this real quick. I, I want to I read this one verse to you out of the uh, Good News Bible. Uh, Sister Jerry Dean turned me on to the Good News Bible. And I said, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, in the Good News Bible, what am I, Zechariah? Chapter 4. What verse is that? 10? The angel said to me. Is that where I want to be? Yeah, I think so. The angel said to me, the seven lamps are the seven can be. Okay. Hmm? Well, this this is hang on a second. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Verse ten again. Uh, good news. They are disappointed. Talking about the people. Talking about those that have been sown in confusion. They are disappointed because so little progress is being made. He said, don't you dare despise small beginnings. But they will see Zerubbabel continuing to build the temple. And they will be glad. And that, that I can't help believe that, but believe that's us. Because we have become disappointed because we've seen so little progress. Yeah. Yeah. When you think back, uh, 1968, April the 4th, Dr. King was assassinated and he was there to protest wages for those men who worked on the garbage truck. And here it is, 50 years later, the same gap between the races financially exists. Very little, very little progress. But don't you dare be discouraged. He says, you're going to finish this thing. Amen? Listen, we got to get this because I'm, I'm, I'm getting excited. I don't know how much of this I'm going to see, but I got a grandchild coming now. Amen. And so I got I got to make sure I keep preaching this, keep declaring this, yeah. so they can pick up if I leave here where I left off. Amen. 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 Now, now I, I want I want you to do this. Uh, time time about gone here, <clears throat> but I want you to do this. Ruth chapter three, verses one through eighteen. So it's the entire chapter, uh, and we're going to do it in the King James uh, version, but. Naomi is uh, Ruth's mother-in-law. Naomi name means my delight. Mm -hmm. uh, Naomi uh, was the one who directed Ruth. Amen? The one who did what? So who's the one that leads and guides you? Holy Spirit is, right? Go back to it. Holy Spirit is the one that directs you, leads and guides you. So Ruth was the Holy Spirit for Naomi. I mean, Naomi was the Holy Spirit for Ruth. Right. Guess what Naomi's name means? My delight. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Holy Spirit ought to be your delight. Amen. Now, now uh, Ruth's name means um, friendship. Mm -hmm. Ruth's name means what? So you become a friend of the Holy Spirit. That's your friend. Not spooky. 
Never know what God going to do. The Holy Ghost will do. No, no, no. That's your friend. You his friend. He's your delight. You're his friend. Boaz. Boaz name, it means swiftly or fleetless, fleetness. Uh, to, to, uh, to be swift in action or swift in motion. Boaz also represents two brazen pillars. There were two brazen pillars outside of the temple. Brass always uh, uh, mean forgiveness. Your sins are forgiven. Boaz, by Boaz. Boaz is your kinsman redeemer. Christ is your kinsman redeemer. He's paid for all your sin. So yes, Holy Spirit can be your delight. And you are certainly his friend. Amen. 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 Watch, watch this. Uh, a kinsman redeemer has to have three qualities. Number one, he must be willing to redeem you. Jesus said, Lord, I go through the volume of the book to do thy will, O God. He, he was willing to redeem you. Amen? Amen. Number two, uh, he must be related to you. Christ is called our elder brother. And if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed if you relate. He said, listen, we are heirs with God and joint heirs with Jesus. Yes. Yes. So he can be your kinsman redeemer because he is related to you. Amen. Number one, he's willing. Number two, he's related to you. Number three, he must be able to afford you. Amen. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. All the silver and gold is his. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. He can afford you. So dream big. Yes, amen. Amen. Dream big. Amen. Listen, some of y'all, some of y'all need to get this because there's, there's things that you're waiting on that you ought not be waiting on. Amen. You ought to be preparing. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Now, what, what, whatever you need to do to prepare, go ahead and prepare. Amen. Amen. Take it out of the system. You're working in it anyway. The system will provide enough. For you to prepare for that business. For you to prepare for that other thing. It's providing it for you. Are you wasting it? Yeah. Are you hearing me? Thank you, Lord. Listen, uh, uh, when you retire, here's typically what happens. Uh, Big old Luke will tell you, when you retire, they expect you to live off of the max 60% of your salary. That's the max. Most people make somewhere between 50 and 54%. So think about it. If you make uh, $5,000 a month, now you got to live off $2,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. don't, don't forget, uh, insurance is high. Mm. We don't call it insurance right here. We call it insurance. It's high. Health insurance is why most people work to the 80. So watch this. The vast majority of us are so gifted and so talented that we could have a legit side hustle, leave the job, and still never miss a beat. Amen. 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 Yeah, you, you, you can do it. Amen. But you waiting and you depending on the system. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. So he must be what? Willing, he must be related, he must be able to afford you because <laughs> he owns a lot of property. Thank you, Lord. And when you read that book of Ruby, you'll find all of that right there. Amen. Here's another thing that I, I'll give you before you leave. Naomi said, Listen, what I want you to do is I want you to wait until the man is eaten and is full. Hmm. 
Mr. Aaron Jenkins used to say it like this. Don't make your move too soon. <laughs> Hello? Don't make your move too soon. Uh, be led by the Holy Spirit in whatever it is you're doing. Amen? Then she said, when, he is, when he's asleep, you go pull the cover back and lay at his feet. Notice she never told him to, uh, told her to cover herself with the cover. She said, pull it back. Now, when, he, when she pulls it back, his feet are exposed. And I don't know about you, but if you want to wake me up, <laughs> pull the cover off my feet. <laughs> he wakes up and he says, daughter, who are you? Yeah. She told him, this is your uh, hands maiden roof. And he said, oh yeah, you're an honorable woman. If you're going to make it, you're going to make it because yes, you're pure. But also because you understand it's not by might, no power. Right. So when she laid at his feet, mama, he himself had to take the cover and put it back. Okay. Because it's his responsibility to say, yes, I cover you. Okay. Wow. In other words, what you're trying to do outside the system, you can't force it. You can't make it happen. You put yourself in position and then let the system roll and take place. <laughs> Things will happen just like that. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Use wisdom. Amen. 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 Y'all get anything out of that? Amen. Well, come on, give the Lord Amen. praise. Come on, give him praise. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Uh, we'll, we'll pick up somewhere on that next week. All right? Um, it's time for us to break away from the system. It's time for us to understand how to do it. And he's going to speak to you. Amen? Amen. He's going to speak to you about how to do it. As a matter of fact, uh, he's already speaking to some of you. Amen. Don't forget these things. Don't ignore these things. Because we see things changing so rapidly. We see things changing so rapidly. Only Holy Spirit is going to lead and guide you into all truths and righteousness. He's the only one. He's the only one that's going to get you to where you need to be. Amen? Amen. Listen, let's do this for those who are watching us by social media. Uh, and even if you're in here today. If you have not allowed Jesus to become your personal Lord and your personal Savior, then you are lost. And until you do that, you will continue to be lost. Amen? I said amen. amen. So how do I get born again? How, how, how does that happen? I first have to admit that I'm lost. I'm lost. I, I don't have Jesus. I don't know. I don't know Yahshua at all. Secondly, I have to believe that he is Savior and Lord. And that God raised him from the dead. He's paid for all my sins. Then I have to confess him now. That he is my Savior. Amen. That's how it works. Amen? Amen. So let's help the audience out. Amen? The viewing audience. You ready? Mm -hmm. Say it with me. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I admit. I admit. That I'm lost. That I'm lost. I do not have. I do not have. Jesus. Jesus. Yahshua, Yahshua as, my Savior. as my Savior. But I believe, but I believe that, he that He died for my sins. And after three days, after three days he, rose he rose again. Now I confess Him, I confess him as, my Savior, as my Savior and my Lord. And my Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. See, if you've done that, whether you're on Facebook, uh, YouTube, wherever, uh, what's the other one? Instagram? Well, however you're doing it. You are now born again. But you need a church home. You need a place that you can come and get fed. Well, come on to Mount Vernon. 119, uh, 19151 Shepherds Lake Road East. Amen. 19151 Shepherds Lake Road East. Come on. We'd be glad to have you. Praise God. Y'all all right? Amen. Amen. It's offering time. How you feel about giving? Thank you. Praise God. Uh,
Listen, that's, that's, that's four ways you can give. Number one is Cash App. Cash App is dollar sign Spirit and Truth CC. You can give that way. You can give by Church App. Church App is you must text hashtag STCC to the number 54244. To the number 54244. PayPal. PayPal is by uh, going to Spirit and Truth Christian Center at Gmail. Spirit and Truth Christian Center at Gmail. And number four, you can send it in to us. P.O. Box 632, Mount Vernon, Alabama. The post office was down yesterday. Y'all better get on one of those apps. Amen. Praise God. You got your seat ready, lift it high. Say it with me. Help me, Father. This seed I sow. Call me to be out of debt. And all my needs are met. And I have much more to put in store. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. Praise God. All right. Um,